people welcome back to yard and abroad tv please remember to hit the subscribe button turn on post notification like comment share and subscribe as i said if you're not familiar with this channel we talk about issues in jamaica the caribbean and the whole world people Wagwan viewers and subscribers, welcome back to my channel. Much love and appreciation as usual, people. Bless up in yourself, people. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to play you a video of an incident that happened between the Member of Parliament, Ever Everall Warmington, and some police officers, people. Then I'm going to leave my opinion and my thoughts on the video. So let me tell you now what took place before i played the video so it's basically i guess jamaica is under curfew and certain people are exempt from the curfew which include i guess members of parliament farmers doctors you know like essential peoples so this is an incident and an altercation between the member of parliament and the police people but here we are going in the video and i will leave my opinion on it So yeah people we do not know exactly what took place before the recording started but as you can see the member of parliament is shaking up on him loud and he's going off while the police them seem very calm nothing out the ordinary just the man the mp going off so my thing is you know people sometimes certain situations can be handled way differently so tell me now the member of parliament is saying he's exempt from i guess the curfew or whatever I me mean, know that could have been related differently to the police because right now he's reeling up himself and i argue with the police and of course the police i call them boy and of course all sort of bad word now people and to me that's very very disrespectful no matter who you are and what kind of power authority you you hold that is very disrespectful people you see me and then to top it off he looks like he's on the phone with the minister of national security him say horace horace chang is the minister of national security so he's a member of parliament i don't know if he have horace on standby 
So I'm just call him up and tell him what I go on. And sometimes certain people abuse them power, you know, because that was uncalled for. You a member of parliament or whatever, you no fear go along. So, you see me, people, you're not supposed to be acting and go on like that. He said this is the first time him ever get disrespected by the police. You see me, he said that, you know, it's not like a constant thing that keep happening. He said the first time him ever get disrespected this type of way. So, yeah, people, I think him overreact to the situation. As we say, if he's exempt, him can handle it in way better um, manner than how he's behaving at the moment, people. You see me? Things can be handled way, 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 way differently. So I'm going to read you know, some comments of what other people um, thought about the video or what they saw and their opinions as well. You see me? One person says... No one is above the law. No one with about three exclamation mark. Another person goes on to say he addressed the officer as this boy. No regards for those in authority shaking my head. And that's what I'm saying, people. You cannot look on the big man, the police who are protect, serve and protect the country and I come style him as a boy. That's disrespectful. Another person goes on to say, but I don't understand how is he complaining about the police being disrespectful when he himself is known to not have any manners or respect to anyone. Another person goes on to say, Warmington needs to be prosecuted too much now, setting a bad example. Another person goes on to say, look how police are get boy up. Anybody else a truck back flingings. And we wonder why Jamaica have a follow guidelines issue. If who set it now lead by example. So everybody else I play do as I say. That's the crazy part about this curfew thing you know people. Like some people feel that like they are above the law. And then can just continue and go about their regular doings as usual. Because they have certain powers and so a certain authority. Which is definitely wrong you have to lead by example in whatever you do you see me you have to lead by example brother not because you're a politician that means you can do and say as you feel Jano, crazy crazy people but leave a comments and your opinions in the comment section let me know your thoughts on it people uh let me know when you think about it all right bless up in yourself much love